Ja. Good morning, family and friends. Day 103. There was no 10 day 102 video. <clears throat> I had had some issues yesterday, which I'll tell you about later. But it's 103 Sunday, uh, August 8th. We just got dropped off by Jen from the main Roadhouse Hostel, top notch hostel. We took a zero, unexpected zero there yesterday, but the place was great. Beds are extremely comfortable, and the ownership of the two gens was great. They've only been open up a month, and they're almost at full capacity without any advertisements, just basically word of mouth by us through hikers. So today is big day, the Bigelows, the last of the big mountains going north. And um, we'd like to do 15 today. Got a lot of elevation. Uh, probably 6,000 foot elevation change. But um, there's a lot of areas where we can camp if we don't make the 15. I'd like to go to Bigelow Lean To. That's after all the Bigelows. And after that, we can cruise. Put start putting up some larger mileage days, 15 plus. It's uh, overcast right now. May rain, I don't know. It's warmer weather than it has been. So uh, yeah, let's sit back, enjoy a beverage or two while uh, we take a hike through Maine today. Here's old Dick Brown's bridge. <laughs> I don't know who he is. A little bit of water. It's gonna be a humid day today, I think. I think those cold, that cold snap that we had last week is gone. Especially since I got back my 30 degree top quilt and under quilts. <laughs> So while well, we got this nice mellow trail, might as well clue you in what happened yesterday. So yesterday morning I had full intentions of hiking out. I woke up and I could not find my money, my ID, that baggie that I carry in my left pocket. I couldn't find it anywhere. I'm always very cognizant the night before of where I put it. But the other night, uh, before I went to sleep, I just didn't remember anything where I put it. So uh, a frantic search ensued throughout the whole hostel. Where is my money? Where's my ID, credit cards, everything. Everything I own was in that packet. Frantic. So long, very long story, short as possible. I had to cancel my debit card, my Amex credit card, my Chase card, reported lost. <clears throat> and uh, there was a lot I had to go over. And uh, driver's license, I had no idea. So my number one trail angel had a great idea. That's what she always does. Transfer some money out of check into Sarge. He has Chase, you know, Zealot, Z-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, way to transfer money. And I did. So, transferred a large sum of money, Sarge. He went to ATM, he gave it to me. So I figured, crap. Uh, and Sarge called the police. <laughs> he 
Even I got a couple calls from the deputy. He was looking at the, st the store where I last was. That's where I remember I last saw it. And uh, he was asking a bunch of questions. We went back to the store. They were saying, yeah, the police were here, searching around. There's no cameras, blah, blah, blah. So we came back from the store. We, oh, we got lunch, too, at Backstrap where we were the other day. Uh, so we were transferred to another room. Sarge had the foresight to, to think, well, we probably should take a zero or at least intend to, till we get this situation straightened out. Good planning on his part. Huh? You can get water there? Yeah, because I'm dry. Okay. Sorry, he's going to get water. Anyway, um, what you call it? Uh, so we came back from Bat Straps, or the restaurant and the Fodder's grocery store, whatever the heck the name of it was. And I was sitting in my bed in my room. I went to get up to get my AWOL guide. Uh, just to look at the elevations for today and all that kind of crap. And guess what was in there? My freaking money, my ID, credit cards, license, everything. I had stuffed it in my baggie for, a, for the AWOL guide. Needless to say, I was pretty embarrassed and pissed off at myself. Told Sarge told my number one trail angel and that was it I didn't tell the the gens in the place that I found it uh, but uh, yeah so that's why we took a day off yesterday and um, didn't hike so that's why there's no day 102 vi uh, video that's the story continuing our climb up we gotta go up there up this ridge line. And up there is probably the peak. Here we go down. Still climbing up the big lows. <sighs> Which way do I want to go? No, I don't like that way. Oh, I like this way. humid today. Humid sun, summer Sunday morning.
that is what's called the Horns and Little Bigelow Mountain. We've got to go over that yet today. And on our way down. Oh, baby. Oh. Well, we got the first big climb of the day, about 2,500 foot da done. But this is going to be a day long feat going through the Bigelows because you got to go up and then down and then up and then down to 4,000 footers. But fortunately, the ascent, since we're up high right now, isn't as bad. It could be steep, probably is. Ooh. But as far as climbing goes, uh, it's only a few hundred foot. Ooh. But this is a beautiful forest through here, as you can see. Thick, dense, no birds. I haven't heard a bird in a long time. Birds can't fly in this stuff. Horns Pond, which is close to Horns Pond Lean To. You got the horn on the left, and then Avery Peak on the right, which is uh, a little big, a little mountain, and then the long decline down to hopefully our shelter later on today. But Yeah, you can see the mountains in the distance. It's kind of overcast. Probably going to rain later. That's where we're at now. Horns Pond. That's what you saw. But this shelter looks beat up. Whew. Is there any water here? You need water? Big old mountain, South Horn, elevation 3831. And check it out. That's probably Avery Peak. That bad boy's next. <clears throat> Beautiful. Hazy though. Pop out of the woods. There's a gigantic lake over here, but look where we gotta go. All the way up there. Let's go. Let's see if we can't go up this ascent together.
This is the peak. Oh crap. Well, if I grab my breath, I'll show you around. Look at this lake. It's huge. I have no idea. Is it Wrangley Lake? I don't know. This thing is huge. That's where we came from. Like the Those two peaks there, that's where we came from. That's where we're looking at. When we're looking at this. Wow. There's Sugarloaf Mountain right there. Ski slopes. We came there, the crackers. The crackers are right there. Came down there. Saddleback. The horn. Wow. Alright, let's go back this view, this peak. A bunch of sobos up there now, must be. Because nobody passed us. Go on Mountain West. 4150. No. No. We're through hikers. All right, let's sit down and have some lunch. When did you guys start? I started in Rome, Mountain, Tennessee. Thanks. Nice. March 24th. Yeah. That is Flagstaff Lake, a man-made lake. These young ladies here told us. Wow, look at how it goes. It's gigantic. Wow. All right, this is Avery Peak, our next 4,000 foot. We will be there shortly, I hope. Fire Warden's cabin at Myron Avery Campsite. That's a caretaker. <coughs> but we're going in between peaks now. Just got off a of big low West Peak. Now we're heading towards Bigelow, well, Myron Avery, or Avery Peak. And it's supposed to be a box spring close by. Take you up on our last 4,000 foot climb. Last of the 4,000 footers going no bow until we get to Katahdin. <clears throat> Sorry, dropped my pole. We go on Mountain Avery Peak, 4,088 feet.
Oh, what's that thing? Wow, look at this. Man, you can really see this lake good from here. Holy mackerel. Look at this thing. This is some lake. I don't see any boats out there, though. And it's Sunday. Wow. So from Mount Musilaki to Avery Peak, Maine, we have done all the 4,000 footers, no boat on the AT. I don't know how many there are, but there was a lot. What is this thing? And there's some kind of plaque over here on this rock. Let's check this out. While you look at the lake, I'll walk over. Ah. Myron H. Avery Peak of Mount Bigelow. Named in honor of Myron Halliburton Halle Avery, 1899-1952, whose foresight, leadership, and diligence made possible the Appalachian Trail, this 2,000-mile foot footpath from Maine to Georgia. <clears throat> yeah, he was the one who kind of laid out the whole thing. All right. Yeah, he's the one. He's a lawyer, right? Yeah, he's a lawyer from Maine. All right, so now our next conquest is Little Bigelow Mountain, which is right in front of me here. Hold on. Little Bigelow Mountain, we go across that. Huh, doesn't look as flat as the contour. And then we go down halfway to the shelter, which is seven miles away. And it's almost three o'clock. That's Little Bigelow Mountain. We we're supposed to go down there today, but I don't know, man. <sighs> We've been seeing these gigantic rock slabs all over the place. I mean, they're huge. Just big rocks. Um, we're not going to make it to our 15 mile shelter. We're just going to stay at the campsite that's Hopefully very soon. <clears throat> These rock slabs are huge. side trail through these rocks to get to this dopey campsite. Oh! Wow. Oh man, I'm beat. My knees. We'd never make it to five miles to that other shelter. We'd be hiking 10 o'clock at night. So yeah, we finally made it to our campsite. We're cooking right now. I'm having, I don't know, what, whatever this is. Noodles and something. Sarge, what are you making? I'm making a, another ramen bomb. Oh boy. He loves ramen bombs. Yeah, but they're high calorie. So it's pretty warm tonight. I don't know if it's going to rain. This is a campsite, kind of a crappy campsite, but it's a campsite. We couldn't do the 15 we wanted it to do. Just got to be too much. We did two 4,000 footers today. 
Last two. And one thirty-two. And one thirty-eight hundred one, which I well documented. So uh, I'm gonna eat, and I'll be back to you. Well, well, folks, hold on. My pillow's not right. I don't want to have, you know, I, I get comments when my pillow's not right. <laughs> anyway. 10.4 uh, today, we did our last 4,000 foot peaks, uh, Bigelow, East Peak, and, and Mount uh, Myron Avery, uh, West Peak. So we're done with the 4,000 until we get to Katahdin. Oops, sorry. Jeez. And um, it's warm tonight. 30% um, chance of rain, so everything's under the under the tarp, and and I'm on very uneven uneven ground. My my hammock's not set up right, so I'm gonna be sliding tonight. I'm not lying right. Anyway, <clears throat> ten point seven to end, and next uh, tomorrow we flatten out the terrain, and I'll be uh, approaching my one thousand miles. Um. I am, uh, I think, uh, about 10 miles shy. So I'll hit that right before the shelter tomorrow. So that's that's all exciting. It's going to get, uh, I'm going to be able to put more miles on because we're uh, coming to some flat ground here. So that's it. 10 points uh, for today. And uh, look to uh, put on some more miles tomorrow, at least uh close to 13. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. God bless.